Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be setting up my new X200T. Um, this is an X200T ThinkPad, and it's in incredible shape. The keyboard is almost, it looks brand new. Compared to my X60, It these keys just look incredible. I don't know if it'll focus, but it has basically no wear on it whatsoever. The track point seems brand new. The keys are great. The plastic of the laptop itself is also in really good shape. And then, of course, it's the tablet. So we have the stylus right here. And the swivel screen, which is epic and I can't wait to use. So before we do anything with it, we need to install an SSD and input some operating systems on it. So let's go. All right, so before we put in the hard drive, we need to remove our battery, like so, place it off to the side, and unscrew our hard drive um, cover thingy. All right, the cover is now off, and as you can see, the laptop did not come with a caddy for the SSD slash hard drive. So instead of buying one off of eBay, I 3D printed one, and let's test fit. Hmm, yep, it fits nice. So yeah, instead of buying one, just 3D print your hard drive caddies for your laptops. So now let's open up our SSD. Okay, there we go, finally. We have opened up the SSD and flop. Here it is. This is a caddy if it was going in a PC, but it is not. It is going in the ThinkPad. Let me just see where the pins are. Um, okay, nice. So now we will just put the hard drive into the caddy by snapping it on. It just snaps on. Yeah, it snapped in. Here it is. Looks like carbon fiber on it, which is neat. Oh, it cracked. That's not good. Our, our SSD mount cracked. Oh. Here, let's try to put it on again. Line it up with everything. There, that, that seems better. And slide it in. Yeah, um, I'll be back. Okay, back with the air conditioning on now. Great. I finally slid the mount in, and we can just push it in like that. And I think, I hope this will fit back on. I don't know though. I think I may have put it in the wrong way. Because this tab shouldn't be sticking there. Let's, let's, let's figure that out. Several attempts later, and the SSD and 3D printed SSD mount have been installed into the X200T. That, uh, that took a bit longer than I thought it would. It, uh, 
quite challenging, to be honest. Uh, now let's just screw this back on, left-handed, like a professional, and take our battery, and snap it back in. Flip it around. SSD installed. Epic. Okay, we have Windows 10 USB plugged in with our beautiful, basically new X220T. There's like nothing wrong with it, it looks perfect. So we're going to install Windows now, and then I think I'll put Ubuntu Mate on it, so I will dual boot this one. So let's Fire it up. Think Vantage button. We got flashing. F12. USB disk. Windows. Let's go. Okay, so the 3D printed hard drive mount did not work and it kind of broke part of the laptop actually. It cracked a little bit of plastic and it was very, very frustrating putting the SSD in. So I just put it in and uh, actually duct taped it into the bay area. And right now we're installing Windows and it's going great. Stylus works on the screen. Um, yeah, see the dot shows up. It's very neat. I can't I can't wait to start messing around with it But I can't get over how nice the keyboard feels It's like a brand new seven row keyboard and it's it's just the greatest thing ever and no trackpad This is like the, the perfect thinkpad It's incredible the keyboard feels brand new touch screen track point only great size buttons can't wait so it's been about a month with the x200 tablet set up and it's been amazing it's super clean the keyboard is great um, the touch screen is really nice um, it's great to use sketchbook um, just to write or draw things and I got the um, screen rotation driver set up so I can press the button changes the screen orientation so that's useful so then I can use the pen um, mess around with it it's a really fun laptop um, it's great for just simple web browsing or um, yeah I just use as like a secondary laptop um, so I've had a lot of fun with it, and it's, it's pretty light too, um, considering how much is packed into it. Um, yeah, the SSD makes it really fast, so you can open stuff up quickly. Um, it can run a couple games, um, although I don't use it for gaming because I have other things that I can use, but like, it runs Battlefront 2 and Counter-Strike Source. And yeah, this laptop has been amazing. And I only have about like $60 in it. Um, so like 30 for the laptop and 30 for the SSD. So it's an amazing deal. And I still can't get over the condition it's in. It's just, it's great. One of my favorite ThinkPads. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry that I haven't uploaded for a while, but oh well, uh, more videos to come probably. And yeah, thanks for watching.